Good morning and welcome to our hymn sing service, which we I am so excited for. I love our hymns. I love all the music of the church, the both the classical and the modern. And I have to tell you that I loved sitting around with you, the people that were at our gathering where we threw out songs. And if you see, and you are going to see songs that are not uh, specifically dedicated, it's because they were tossed out at the meeting that day. And, and, uh, Roberta and I wrote as, as quickly as we could, but if we didn't get your name, we, we are still trying to honor you with that song. Uh, I just, I believe that hymns can be our first and our best introduction to theology because they work in a way that I, as your minister, cannot. They sneak right past the editor in your brain and they have a catchy tune and they embed themselves in your hearts, not just your mind. And they shoot right past that critic in your brain that might overanalyze them and tear them to pieces. So when you're sad or you're sick or you just need to know that God is walking alongside you, a beloved hymn will float to the surface. Rock of Ages or Standing on the Promises. And you know that you're not alone. When my kids were little, I, I made them... Uh, I did. I made them memorize poetry and song. And one of the things I made them memorize was Psalm 23. And I did that because I know someday they're going to need it. Someday it's going to float to the surface, just like one of their favorite hymns. You sing these great words of faith with the community of saints, past and present. And you sing them to God and God is love. So you're joining in this great community of love. And these songs are so powerful and they continue to be written even today. Judy Hayward picked a beautiful new one for In Love of Our Congregation. And I love that because it reflects our understanding now of love and faith as the community continues to grow, which is a beautiful dynamic thing that continues to happen. So as we turn to God in prayer, let's be thankful for the music of the church. And like the psalmist, let's be thankful for the gift of music. So let us pray. Ah, Holy One, we thank you for music, for songs that inspire, that encourage, that comfort. Thank you for our voices, the ability to lift up our hearts and minds to you as we sing. May our songs inform us and help us to do that which you call us to do. We lift our voices in praise to you, O oh God. Amen. All right, so we've, as I'm sure you've noticed, crammed in a bunch of songs, as many as we could fit in, and there were still actually songs we could not fit in, so we're just going to have to have a second hymn sing, I think. So I'm going to introduce four of them at a time to save a little time. So our opening hymn is Come In, Come In and Sit Down, verses 1 and 2, Voices United 395. Then we're going to move to the blue supplement, number 30, Because He Lives. Then two Voices United 509, I the Lord of Sea and Sky. Those two hymns are dedicated to uh, the parents of Lyle and Margaret McIntosh. And then Judy's beautiful song, Your Love is Amazing, is More Voices 26. And that's how we're gonna start.
Okay, our next four hymns. And if again, if they're not dedicated to somebody, you know who you are, who threw that, that beautiful song out there, that lovely request. Uh, and I'm sorry that I wasn't able to uh, get, get your names in time. But so our next four are How Great Thou Art, which is in Voices United 238. And then the Old Rugged Cross, uh, Blue Supplement number one. Just a Closer Walk with Thee. And that one is dedicated by Roberta in memory of Jean Wood. And hang on, I just have to move to, ah, and then In the Garden, verses one and two. Uh, also the blue supplement, number seven. And that one is dedicated by Dan McIntosh to Keith Corcoran.
Okay, the next four, I'm pretty sure bringing in the sheaves, I'm pretty sure that was you, Gladys, but I couldn't remember for sure, so I didn't write it in. But bringing in the sheaves is uh, the, next, the next hymn, which is such a good peppy one. And then Amazing Grace, uh, which is Voices United 266. And then dedicated by Margot Pigas is uh, Eternal Father Strong to Save, and that's Voices United 659. And then dedicated by our very own secretary, uh, Colleen Loken, One More Step Along the World I Go, verses one and three.
The scriptures today are Psalm 23 and Psalm 121. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green, pa green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Our next four hymns are Touch the Earth Lightly, dedicated by Denise and Terry Beaton in memory of Brian Beaton. And that will be in Voices United 307. Shall We Gather at the River is in Voices United 710. Standing on the Promises is in our Blue Supplement, number 32. And what a Friend We Have in Jesus is in Voices United 664.
I personally, and I know on behalf of the congregation, want to say a special, special thanks to Carol, who plays her fingers off for us every week, but especially this week. Oh, what a, what a precious treasure you are, and thank you. It was, it's so beautiful to listen to this music, and it lifts my spirits, and I know it lifts everyone else's. So, hey, people, in this isolated age, get out there and tell Carol thank you. It was beautiful. All right, that last hymn leads us so perfectly into our closing prayer. So if you will bow your heads with me or do whatever you do, if you raise your eyes to heaven, whatever you do to get comfortable and, and be ready for prayer, let us pray. Holy one, your servant Meister Eckhart said, if the only prayer we ever say is thank you, that is enough. And we affirm that gratitude for so many things, the gift of music, the gift of each other, the gift of walking together with you, O oh God. Be with us through the words and music that we have shared today as we go out into the world to share your love and joy and compassion with everyone we meet. Let us have the privilege to be your hands and feet in the world around us. Thank you for our lives and the music that animates all that we do. Amen. All right, our closing hymn is God Be With You Till We Meet Again, verses 1 and 2, and that is in Voices United 422. Our post lead today, we weren't sure exactly how long this would take us, and I'm just going to do go now in peace because it just doesn't feel complete without it. <laughs> and I hope you'll all sing along. I'm sure you know all the words by now. <laughs> 